Johnny Trick here. This time I'm in Krakow, Poland, and this is everything I ate. Pod in Neotami was my first meal in Poland, and my one big splurge. I was starving, so I picked tasting menu number two. The meal starts with fresh bread and smolek, a traditional Polish lard spread, rich and savory. The cold cut board was a unique selection of sausages, sliced meats, fruits, and a cheese bread. All pretty good stuff. The pan fried pierogies were fantastic. Each had a different filling, all were delicious. The wild boar steak was thick, succulent, tender, flavorful, and divine. The peppercorn sauce was a perfect match, as were the roasted potatoes and red kraut. For dessert, the raspberry shortbread tart was as delectable as it was beautiful. The herbal vodka shot was a perfect aperitif. My favorite meal was at Milk Bar Tomaza. They have the best pierogies in Krakow. I tried every flavor. All were delicious, but the beef was the big winner. They're beefy and beautiful. Be sure to try it with sour cream as well too. The spinach was good too, and had a fresh, vibrant green color. The chicken pierogies are packed with tender, flavorful chicken. They're hearty and delicious. The mushroom and cabbage are a perfect mix of sour and savory. Just beautiful. I can't pronounce this place, but it was packed with locals and very cheap. Both the chicken pierogies and the cheese pierogies are pretty good and very filling, but they're boiled instead of pan fried, so not as good as the others. But the portions here are huge. The mixed salad plate was both beautiful and hopefully healthy. Dobra specializes in Polish style donuts. There is a wide variety of flavors. All are big, gorgeous, and very tempting. I chose the popular Rose Hips donut. It's very sweet and very lovely. Pod Wawelum is a local favorite especially with the university students looking for an affordable and delicious hot meal. At this point, I am a pierogi addict. These tasty mushroom and cabbage pierogies were a great starter. On Monday nights, you can get this humongous hot fried pork schnitzel and fries for really, really cheap. A lot of locals ordered this too, so I did as the locals did. It was wonderful. This is another local popular spot for inexpensive traditional Polish food. The borscht soup with pierogies was simple and satisfying. I just absolutely love these things. I also love grilled mushrooms. Cabbage rolls are a very traditional Polish dish. Pretty good overall with lots of flavors and textures. Do I dare call it a Polish burrito? All over Krakow, you'll see these Oporozanki bread stands. They're popular and mentioned in every Krakow guide, but I honestly found them bland and boring. Instead, save your precious and limited stomach space for an Elkilni. This delightful cafe has beautiful and delicious desserts, all priced affordably. The ham and cheese quiche is nice savory pastry. The pistachio nikila is lovely, creamy, and a beautiful work of art. And that wraps up my food tour of Krakow, Poland. For more details, visit my website, johnnytricky.com. Thanks for watching.